What's up guys? My name's Tim. Welcome back to Dynamite Explodes. Today we're playing some more Dragon Quest Builders. Fucking love this game. Let's get right into it and play. The land you see before you was once known as Can't 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 Land. Long ago, long, long ago, in the before time, a bustling city thrived here. Ringed all around with stout fortifications, but all was destroyed in the relentless attacks by the monsters. Scarcely a tree remains of its former greatness. Hero, my child, you must use the power to create. Yeah, I, I get it. That will be the first step in your journey to make Alfgard rise once again. To this end, I bestow upon you a gift. Ah! A stick. Thanks, Alberus. Boop, boop, monster. Thing. Take this banner of hope in hand and seek the source of light you see before you. Even as the darkness closed in around them, the men and women of Caitlin, Kate, I, fuck it, I'm calling it Caitlin, because that, that's amusing, flew this flag off to the bitter end. Plant the banner in the land once more, that his bountiful light might serve as a symbol of Caitlin's restoration. Now go, make haste for the pillar of light. Here I obtained the banner of hope. Yay. And I, I'm, I'm, I'm in the world. Wow. So, so. <laughs> That's so funny. Like, in order to pick up fucking. <laughs> in order to pick up shit, you gotta fucking hit it. Oh, that's funny. Off to Caitlin, go. Options, bird's eye view. Wow. Ah, <laughs> cool. Oh, nice. All right. Return from the bird's eye view. All right, so we gotta go to our banner. Fucking stab that thing! Oh no! We just kind of lift our hand up, like yay! Oh my god, this music is so nostalgic. I fucking love this. This is amazing. I'm so glad I'm playing this. I hope you guys are enjoying it as much as I am. Well, probably not. Probably not yet. Nothing has happened. A warm, soothing light spreads all around. People near and far would be attracted by the banner's beckoning light. Look, my child, here's one already. Where? Where? Plant your flag. When you plant your banner of hope, the air around it becomes your base. The more your base develops, the more the meter in the top left corner of the screen will fill up. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's how I save. Might as well save. Saving. Pop, pop, pop. Create a new adventure log. I'm saving the game for you, sir. Oh, hello, madam. <laughs> Good evening. What's this funny flag doing here? There's something special about this place. It's so bright and inviting. My name's Peepa. What's yours? I am Hero. Hero of the heroes. Of the hero clan. If a resident of your town knows an exclamation mark on the head, it means they have something to ask you. Talk to them and see what they want. Oh, hey, Peepa. What's that? You're the one who planted that flag here? Who are you? Where did you come from? I was dead. And, uh, the, the boob monster raised me. Peepa, or... No, that's your name. Agrippa, Grappa, Frappa, Parappa the Rapper. Totally dead. The fucking land spirit was like, hey. You don't, you don't remember the goddess told you to come here. So you've got amnesia and you're hearing voices. That's not suspicious in the slightest. No, I agree, Peepa. Thanks for understanding. You're a, you're a pretty cute little girl. Oh, but this place is... Just so lovely. Can I live here? Yeah, sure, man. Here, my child. Even with the power that dwells within you, you cannot rebuild Caitlin alone. Your first step in rebuilding this city must be to house those who join you in living here. Little remains of the dilapidated house. Save the door. Repair it by filling the holes in with the walls with the earth. You can place blocks above you by holding out one, and below you by holding R1. Hold down square. Why are you talking about buttons? This is the world. There are no buttons. Just my hands. <sighs> Sorry. Hold down square and you will place one block on top of another. Hold it down while moving to place many blocks in succession. Take this knowledge and use the blocks of earth to rebuild this house once more. Here I obtained five blocks of earth. You, you told me to grab ten. Before, uh, whatever. Alright, uh... 
Oh. Okay. There we go! Yeah! Now we're cooking with, uh, uh, food stuff. Yeah! Yeah! Mm, yeah, you like them blocks? Fill in the blocks. The blocks got holes. The holes? Wait, no. No, you don't go there. You go there. Hero has completed the house. Yay, that's incredible. Wow! That's incredible. That's incredible! The walls are full of holes, but now they're good as new! Huh? You fixed it? With that? That's pretty terrible building material! I'm gonna use cement or wood or cobblestone or something! I thought you were just a weird boy with voices in his head! But you completely fixed that broken down old house! You must have some kind of special power! The power to build! Y yeah, people, that. Here, take these. Uh, th thank, thanks, people. I found them on my way here. You can have them for fixing the house for me. That was my house. Fuck you, people. Steal it by house. You're a terrible lady. You must have some kind of special power to be able to... I, how did you do it? I'm, I'm magic. I got magic hands. What? You've got the power to build new things? What does build mean? Hero, my child, do you remember what I told you? Long ago, the people of the long, long ago, in the before time, the people of this land lost the power of creation. It is your duty to help them regain that power. Anyway, I really appreciate you fixing that house, but it's, it's not much with, with use without some kind of light inside. But I, but I can't see any torch starting around here. Besides, besides your banner of hope, you'll find a mason's workstation. You can use it to build a torch, take these materials and construct them into a torch of awesomeness. And blue goo. Oh, and a branch. I got a branch. All right. I, got, I, I found some more branches before. So, so we're cool. All right, let's build a torch. Torch of destruction. Yeah. Ooh, oh, give me five torches. Sweet fucking titty dances. Oh. Hey, where did you get that torch? I, I, I fucking made it, Peeba. You, you just put some blue goo on a stick. You you didn't find it. You built it. That's what I just fucking said. Ah, so that's what building means. You picked up stuff from around here and somehow changed it into a torch, right? Thanks. I think I understand. Sort of. Not really. Fuck you. I hate you, hero. Uh, thanks, Peeba. You're, you're a crazy little bitch, but I fucking love you. Hey, do you think you might be able to build anything with this? If you need any more, I'll see if I can find some. Broken branch. I, I, I think, thanks, that's cool. Broken branch. It's not like I can't find any more of those shit. I just realized something. I never told you my name. Oh, I never told you my name. <laughs> it's Hero. <laughs> I am a hero of Heroton. Of the Hero Clan. Pfft, what kind of name is that? Does it sound like you'd have special powers at all? But you can't judge someone by their name, right? Oh, fuck you. My name's Hero. It's a fucking awesome name. Anyway, Hero, you've still got these torches you made, right? We should, we should put someone in the house. A room is complete if the walls has two blocks high, a door, and a source of light to stave off the darkness when the sun has set. Press square to place your torch within the building. The building of death. It's, it's got a lot of no. You should put the torch in there. Put a torch in there, fucker. Right, I got it. I got it, boob monster. Leave me alone. All right. Not enough space. Hero built an empty room. Nice. So can I? Not enough space. Yo, thanks, bitch. Brilliant! Now that it's all lit up, the room is perfect! You're amazing, Hero! You really do have some special powers! It's hard to believe that someone who looks so dumpy could be so talented! You're a fucking bitch, people! This is horrible. You're a horrible, horrible lady! But you can't judge someone by their appearance, right? <laughs> Fuck you, you cock gobbling whore! Anyway, let's hear Now we have somewhere to live. We? Wait, wait, wait. You're moving in. Motherfucker, what the fucking P? 
peep up, you motherfucking bitch. What makes a rumor in? For real reaction, must have walls, at least two blocks high. A door and a torch. Torches are awesome. Oh, people, you got so much shit to say. Hey, hero, thanks to you. We have such a lovely room. But don't you think it would be so much better if we had something, some, something to sleep on at night? I don't know, maybe you could build something. Hero, my child, you must gather materials that you might fashion some bedding. Should you place a bed in a room, you could sleep on it at any time. Night or day, day or night. Sun or rain, glass or sand, it would show your health. It would be great if you could make two things to sleep on. If we had two beds, we could sleep next to each other. I could just fuck the shit out of you. The time, hero. I shall leave it to you to gather the materials you need to build the straw mattresses. Young people request. A straw mattress can be constructed from grassy leaves. To build one, you must first... Uh... Uh, what? What? Here, hero! Are you alright? What? What's going on? Eureka! Hero works out how to make a bed! Alright, cool. We made a bed. I know how to make a bed. Now I gotta get some motherfucking shit. Some fuck. Some fucking shit. Fucking shit, man. Fuck. Yeah, fucking fucking. Oh, that's fucking sound. Oh my god, this music. Slime. This is a slime. Kill the slime. <laughs> fucking awesome. Uh, I need straw. Where do I get straw? Oh. It's gotta be somewhere nearby. Cause I, it's still early in the game. They wouldn't make you go cray cray. Oh, grassy leaves. Ah, that's what it said. Yes, grassy leaves. So it's these funky looking uh, bushes. All right. I think we're good. Let's grab a couple more. Couple more leaves. Grassy leaves of awesomeness. And let's build. Wait, straw mattress. Yeah, straw mattress built. And I'll make another one. Yeah, two straw mattresses. All right, all right, I got you. I got you, Peepa. Don't worry. We're going to make some straw mattresses of us in this. Let's clear out this fucking bushes in our house, though. All right, so. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Hero builds. Hero builds the first basic bedroom. Basic bedroom. Bedroom should go maybe two. Remember the most maddest of materials. Increase red mag make pee by ten percent. Sweet. Oh my god! Oh my god! You made a bed. Oh my god! Wow! You built us something to sleep on. Thank you, hero. You're my hero. Oh, I get your name now. Whether it's night or day, you can sleep on any bed that is within a room to recover your health. And as the sun sets, the darkness will close in around you, and more powerful monsters emerge in the forest. When night falls, you would do well to return to your base. Rest your head upon a pillow and sleep until morning. You know, unless you want to go out, outside and kill monsters. Hero, my child, you discover the means to build a straw mattress all by yourself. In addition to the power to create that, I bestowed a ton to you. It seems you also been a special kill to discern what can be made from materials you find. This is a wondrous power. You have it. You should no doubt be invaluable to the magical methods that I... Hero! Hello! Hero! Shut up, Peepa. Was the god speaking to you? Or are you staring off into space with your mouth open again? You got to pay more attention to what's going on around you, hero! If you keep spinning it out like that, I'm never gonna have like that! Hero begins to feel time passing by as Peepa yells at him. Shouldn't let, shouldn't, shouldn't let the bitch fucking. Whether you're collecting materials or building rooms, time is always on the move. Eventually, night will fall and another day will dawn! You can check what time is on the clock in the top right corner of the screen. Of death. Hero, can I ask you something? No, Peepa. With all the wonder, you're just gonna ask me anyway. Right, right. And collecting stuff, you, aren't you getting a bit hungry? No, I'm good. 
I had a, I had a burger earlier, so I'm good. Huh? No? It's not, it's not just me? I said it was just you. I'm fine. I saw my tummy rumbling. You must be hearing things. Shut up, Peepa! But anyway, look! There are a lot of plumberry trees around here. Plumberries are all kind of small, but they don't really fill you up. They're really sweet and juicy. Can you go get some plumberries while we're here, please? We're at least five for this meal. A uh, uh, plumberry is a small pink fruit that never falls far from a tree. Perhaps you should take a look and see if there are any nearby. I only need one more. <laughs> I should have picked up the, the, those other ones when I was out getting those uh, fallen leaves from that I found uh, from the tree. Man, I fucking love this music. It, ah, I love this. Where the fuck did you come from? Fucking people. Wow, you found so many plumberries. Can I have them? I, I, I guess. Bitch. Hooray! Thanks, hero. To tell you the truth, I'm actually really, really hungry. Yeah, no fucking shit. I'm not stupid. Here, these are for you. What are for me? It's your share. I mean, you must be starving too, right? They're really tasty. You should try them. Shut up, Beepa! Hero's tummy. Hero's tummy starts to rambly. As time passes, you become hungrier and hungrier. You can see how far your hunger is gone. Oh, cool. Alright, so you got hunger, just like Minecraft. Man, they're really, uh... You know, Hero, I've been thinking. You run around smashing all the trees and grass and stuff and using materials to build new things, right? That'd be pretty useful to have somewhere to store all this stuff. After all, you're going to have to collect a lot of your materials pretty soon. Why? Well, it's a secret. Tee hee hee! Fuck you, people. I fucking hate this bitch. Ah, oh, why couldn't we have someone else? Why couldn't the slime have moved in? It's a secret. Hey, hey you just make some stuff, put stuff in later. Your friend is wise indeed. Having a place to store and manage your resources, you gather will serve you well. Can you conceive of an item that would serve such a role? Hmm, like a chest? Make something you can put things in. Eureka! I figured out how to make a chest. Branches buttoned together. Into a faggot. Because that's a bundle of sticks. Alright. We're gonna go fucking, fucking, fucking. Take that, you tree! Nice. Alright, alright. We're gonna make a. We're gonna make a chest. Ooh, a hot, sexy chest. Mm, you like that chest? Hero makes a chest. Nice. Oh god, I'm gonna cut you ready! Damn, bitch, you need to calm the fuck down. Wow, you made a chest! Now you put all sorts of stuff in there! You're gonna collect even more stuff for me! I mean, us, for the town, for the making the town better! You know, Hero, there's something I've always wondered! What has always happened to this world? They say that life was stolen from us by a really bad man. Ever since, it's been all anyone can do to just survive. Nobody cares about anyone but themselves! <laughs> Shut up, people! The fucking goddess already told me. I don't know why I think it's really too important to live like that. Tell you everything but shut up. She won't stop talking. She won't stop talking, guys. I feel like if you're there, anything can happen. She, she won't stop talking. We just do, do everything makes us down a great place to live in. You mean me. You mean me do everything. You're just gonna sit here and fucking twaddle your twat. Fucking People hate you. I think there's nothing to do. That's why I should make a chat. Alright, it's just a queen. Get the biggest, best scene in the whole world. You mean I'm going to? You're doing nothing. I, I think about it to build. You build it. You are going to help me, aren't you, hero? Aren't you? Fucking people, I just want to go out and fucking kill some motherfucking slimes. Oh god, you still got talking to do. It's gonna be a lot of work. The turn she said, then I can do the help. Like, maybe I could build something. That'd be real for me. But, but if I'm gonna build things, I'm gonna need a room to work in, just like this one over here. Yo, can you give me a room with one of the dry people, please? I fucking hate this girl. She won't shut up. She never shuts up. She never shuts the fuck up! It would seem that your example has 
awoken within young people the will to build. Blueprints such as the one she has gifted unto you may be laid on the ground by pressing square using the touchpad to view the plan in more detail. To complete a blueprint, ensure that you place all the necessary items exactly as shown. Be sure to build rooms within the bounds of your base, lest the inhabitants of the town fall to recognize them. For the workbench. <clears throat> For the workbench, you can use that mason's workstation near that flag. You'll probably have to bash it out a bit before you can move it, though. Oh, and that room will need a door to get in and out. The torch is having a lot But you made some rub materials, right? I, I guess. Oh, fuck you, people. A primitive door made of sticks and straw. Can we open and close? Score 50 points! Oh, wow, okay. That's, that's great. Alright. Oh. Oh, cool. Oh, that is interesting, my dear friends. Blueprints, I can dig it. Uh, like, not enough space. Um, so, does this have to be, like, out in the open? Like, you can't have any other shit around it? Yeah, fuck, okay. Um, so I can build, like, uh, a workstation... Here? Okay. Okay, cool. Oh, awesome. I love this blueprint thing. That's a great idea. Alright, um, now we need a whole bunch of dirt. Because we're just making this shit out of dirt. Alright, well, dirt has been dirtified. Now we need to get more dirt. Yay! Alright, so we're collecting dirt along the wall of this mountain. This great hill that we see here. Alright. We'll continue along our path of righteousness. Alright, yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna create some stuff here. Alright, 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 fuck that, that up. All right. Damn it. All right, so. Yeah, this building's right on the edge of my town. But that's cool. It works out. You know how it be. All right. Uh Oh no! <laughs> I almost had enough, uh, almost had enough dirt. We just need a couple more. I assume I'll be able to make, uh, like, pickaxes and shit later, right? Okay. So, now we need to go to our workstation and make us a doa. Oh no, not healing cream. We need a straw door. Yay! Straw door kit! Alright. And... No. No! Bad door! Um... How did I... How, how am I supposed to... Alright, there we go. Uh, then I need a torch. Then what is supposed to go there? Something like, uh... Shit, what did she say? I mean, I should be able to build it. Maybe not. Or is that where my chest is supposed to go? Huh. 
Oh no, the Mason's workbench goes there. Okay. Wait, so... Okay. There we go, we gotta tear that down. Yeah! First stonemason's workshop. Nice! Cool beans. Oh my god, she's gonna say something now. Wow, well, look at that. Hey, Hira! How's my workshop coming along? Make sure you built it just like the picture I drew, right? Play place the blueprint on the ground. I, I, I already did all this. Now go, my child. Strike at the Mason's workstation. Loosen it from the ground. Placing it in the workshop with the blueprints. I, I did that. I did that. I finished it. what you wanted me to do. Oh, wait. Was that supposed to be a bonfire? I think that might have been supposed, supposed, supposed to be a bonfire. Alright, um... Yeah! I completed a picture. Yeah, it was supposed to be a bonfire instead of a torch. Okay, cool. Oh my god, people wants to talk again. Hooray! You built the work room, work room as I asked. Thanks, you all. It's just like one in my picture. Off will the inhabitants seek out to assist your efforts by presenting you with the blueprints. Should you lack sufficient resources to complete a blueprint or other reconstruction, search for them in the nearby wilderness. Some materials can only be obtained by defeating the monster that marauds the wilds, thus freeing them from their grasp. I'm going to use my new work from the bedrock so it's a staff. I put it on the chest, making it in the day so you can take a look at the amazing things I made. Good. You, you made a dirty cloth. Good, Beepa. Alright guys, that's gonna do it for this episode. Man, I fucking love this. Uh, I mean, we're just sitting started into it, so we're learning all the tools of the trade and all that. So, it's gonna be a little slow going at first, but I think it's gonna really pick up. We're gonna start building some really cool shit. I am super excited. I can't wait to build more shit. I uh, can't wait to get more into this game. I fucking love this. I love the music, the things, the Dragon Quest. It's just awesome to be playing Dragon Quest again. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm just so excited. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Remember, subscribe for more travel. Like the video. Leave me a comment down in the below. What do you think of uh, what do you think of this game? What do you think about the whole Minecraft Dragon Quest adventure game thing? I think it's pretty cool. But let me know what you guys think. What should I build? How should I build my city? Let me let me know down below. And night's falling, of course. But anyway, as always, guys, when a motherfucker bitch won't shut up, you gotta beat that bitch. Beat her with a stick. Oh, you, you, you can't.